Okay, let me solve this question before the first guy comes on. So you're given an integer array nums. You're allowed to delete any number of elements from nums without making it empty. After performing the deletion, select a subarray of nums such that all elements in the subarray are unique. The sum of the elements in the subarray is maximized. Return the maximum sum of each subarray. Holy, come off, come off vacation, they're giving me this. Right away, right off the bat. Okay, let's just break it down. It looks complicated at first, but hopefully once we read through the question and work through the examples, it'll be simpler. So we're given an array of numbers. Gonna take some notes. You're allowed to delete any number of elements. Delete any number without making it empty. Select after performing select the, the deletion select a sub array of nums. Is a contiguous non empty? Select a sub array of nums. All elements in the sub array are unique. The sum of the elements okay, we need we just need to maximize the sub array after deleting okay interesting so for this one since they're all unique okay that makes sense okay thank you thank you i'll look at that in a second so we're given num since they're all unique we could just select the whole entire array For this one, delete the elements num0 equals 1. Delete, delete this one, delete this one. Okay, that's not really a good example. Yo, Paul, what's up? Damn, low acceptance rate. Okay, let me work through an example. Let's look at this one. So we could we should just start deleting elements off of it. So we need to delete any number without making it empty. Select a subarray of nums. Where? It might be simpler than a max heap, who knows. Maximize, select where um, everything is unique. Okay. So what, what do we have here? We have one, two, what, what's the result here? I mean, we don't really need to delete anything, but this is three, one, two. I think literally all we need to do is just delete all the elements. Like just delete all the negative elements. I, I think it's just literally simple, like delete all the zeros and negatives. All the zeros and negatives. And then also delete any duplicates. delete any duplicates so we just need to we just pre pretty much need just need to just need to add up 
all of the greater than zero values and just all the unique all the unique ones so i think we just need to figure out like build a set of all the build a build a set because it needs to because we can delete any number so it doesn't even matter this subarray thing confused confused me select a um a subarray that 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 kind of like tripped it out for a second yeah that citadel paying their interns 20k monthly john gna what's up okay so what i do is like um for non so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep, I'm going to use a set. What, what happens if we get the result or what, what's the, if there's no positive integers, what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to get the best cases. We get all unique positive integers and sum them if there's no positive integers we return the largest if there's no positive integers we return the largest negative or the smallest negative the negative that's closest to zero or zero itself So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to have a result equals zero. So what we're going to do is, um, dude, even this easy question is a bit tricky. That's hilarious for, for num and nums. If num is greater than zero, what we're going to do is, is we're going to, result if the num is greater than zero what we're going to do is result um, unique positive what we're going to do if num is greater than zero we'll do if num in unique positive if num not in unique positive If num is not in unique positive, if the number is not, okay, what we're gonna do is resolve plus equals num else, or what we're gonna, we don't even need an else statement. So if the num is not in unique positive, we just add this. Uh, holy, I haven't coded in literally over three weeks. On leak code or Python. So else smallest negative <laughs> smallest negative equals I, I I write in hack, which is their own custom language. not that hard to write honestly. smallest so if it's a if we're doing the smallest negative what we're going to do is like float negative infinity so if the number is greater than zero what we're going to do is smallest negative equals max of smallest negative and the current number seen Something like this. If seen positive 
is false. Return smallest negative. Otherwise, we else return the result. Or we can holy one go one take. Let's go. All right, we got somebody in. We only went two minutes over. Holy, I thought I'd mess that up somewhere. <laughs>